Oh god, we're still fucking here. Ugh, I hate this place. Alright, welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Yes, Bill is still stuck on this fucking island with these horrible fucking lizard people. God damn. Anyway. Alright, so the third dungeon is actually on this island, but it's in the present. We have to make our way to the present, but we can't just zip to the present on that uh, portal that's over there to the right because we won't be able to dungeon that way. So, we have to make our way to the left-hand side of the island, which is exciting, and I know that you're just on the edge of your seat. Alright, making your way up around here will bring you to this little patch, oh dirt, containing the portal to the future that we need to get to the dungeon. Oh, I wish they would have changed the song. I'm so tired of this song. Seriously. Alright, if you remember me going through the island in the previous video, there was a weird kind of thing with eyes in the middle of the island. That is the dungeon, and that's where we're going. Right there. In the fucking fish's mouth. Or a lizard. Fish. I don't know. Welcome to Moonlit Grotto! Totally awesome music. I love this theme so much. Holy shit. If you can't hear it very well, worry not. I'm putting it in thread for all of you to hear. Alright, this dungeon. This dungeon. Shit. It still gives me trouble. It gave me the worst kind of trouble when I first got to it back in the day. And even when I practiced through it earlier, it gave me trouble. I was missing a fucking key. Anyway. The gimmick of this dungeon is to hit four crystals on the first floor, and that'll make the spinner in the center of the dungeon fall down to the second floor below. As this little guy kind of says. I hate these spinners. These spinners are the worst gimmick. But, I gotta hand it to him for creating a puzzle. Some dungeons actually throw two or three spinners at you at once. Navigating them are fun. I guess we'll get to that later, though. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. It's time to blow some shit up! Alright, so you can't destroy this crystal with bombs, but you can make your way to it that way. This room also has the added bonus of having a key in it! Uh, something being knocked loose. Yes, well, we're knocking shit loose. Ah, I hate pushing puzzles. I mean, I get them, but I hate having to wait. But you don't have to wait through the magic of editing! Alright, so back to this room. Now we can use the key on the door above. Uh, there's several different things you can do here in any kind of order, but the first thing I'm going to try and do is make my way up north, so I have to s rotate around the fucking dungeon once more. In dungeons with spinners, you have to do this a lot, and it can get really annoying. Like likes! Alright, that... That crystal we can't quite get to yet. We need a special item to get that crystal. Let's see what the owl has to say. Stone soldiers do not fear swords. Okay. Whatever you say, Mr. Owl. So this room is where the quote-unquote stone soldiers are. The fact that they don't fear swords means that you have to blow them up with your bombs. I have three bombs and four soldiers. Let's try a two for one. Yes! Shit, I missed that one. No, I didn't. Great. Sometimes you get lucky here, sometimes you don't. Anyway, however you play it, you get a key. I'm not certain if the path I'm taking through this dungeon is actually the fastest path or what, but it is the path that I usually take. This guy we actually have to kill twice. Once now, and once when we come back through this room a little bit later. Pole's voice! Alright, so, neat trick. Pull out anything that plays music, be it the animal flute, harp of ages, whatever. Instant death. Nifty trick, right? They actually did that in Link's Awakening. I mentioned it in a previous video. The ocarina would kill them, 
Someone mentioned that I could try any musical instrument, and lo and behold, it works. Go figure. Alright, so now we've crushed three of the crystals. Only one more remains before plot device number 76 happens. Just want to make sure you have a nice supply of bombs before coming into this dungeon, because you kind of need them a lot here. And one more for good measure. You have to. This is a timing puzzle. Activates the stone soldier. Uh, I could kill him, but there's really no point. You could just walk past him and get out of here. Bill's got no time for that shit. It's key time. Right, they're giving us bombs because they want us to blow these guys up, but once again, we're going to use the nifty little musical trick. Oh, I never get tired of that. Very beautiful. A map! i got to stop getting these. I don't know why the hell I'm bothering with maps. Alright, now that we have a few keys, let's make our way north again. Only this time, we're going to be going up through this door. Alright, so if you remember from Link's Awakening... Actually, I think Link to the Past did this first. Where the floor tiles come up and try to kill you. This room has the added annoyance of the red... Uh, gels that will... When they split to smaller ones, will latch onto you and cause you not to be able to use your sword for protection! Alright, also watch out in this room. A lot of the grass has crabs under them. Crabgrass, get it? Ha, ah, yeah, okay. Thanks for that, Capcom. Actually, this is another thing Link to the Past did. What didn't Link to the Past do first? Don't answer that. I don't want to get into a timeline battle. Anyway, this is one of those kill all the enemies in the room to make shit happen kind of things. Those orange guys are obviously mirroring Link's... Link's? Who's Link? They're mirroring Bill's movements! And we got a fucking seed shooter! Alright, this item is actually pretty great. I like it. It allows you to shoot your she your s seeds, and they ricochet off of the walls. Pretty awesome. Uh, most people use the scent seeds as ammo, however, and I usually do too, but for convenience sake right now, I'm just using the ember seeds. You can use any seed you want as ammo. Which is the beauty of it! Which means, theoretically, you could have a ton of ammo for this thing. Time for a little showing off! All right, so, the final crystal can be killed with a ricochet. I think we broke the dungeon. All right, as you can see, the spinner is gone. Very nice. We can go any way we want to now, but not really necessary anymore. We're actually done with this floor, pretty much. Let's go below! Okay, so now the spinner is down here. If you had come in here earlier, all that would be is a big pit. So, don't try it. You're wasting your time. Time to ricochet more ember seeds. Aw, oh, fuck. Bill, come on. There we go. All for a seed. God damn it. Bill has no time for seeds! Alright, so we're using the magic of dungeon walking, or whatever you want to call it, 
to make our way to the north by uh, manipulating the spinner. We could go right to the boss room now, but it would be kind of useless because we don't have a key. And we haven't fought this mini-boss yet! Guess what his gimmick is? You guessed right. Time to dig. Dig them all out of the ground. Slash them with your sword. Done. Very easy. Take that. Alright, so now we have our nifty little teleporter to the front of the dungeon, and... We get to get a key! You have to kill all the enemies in this room to be able to push this block. Unfortunately, one of the enemies is on the other side of those blocks over here. But, luckily, Link can break the laws of physics and slash through walls. Behold! A key. Alright, through some crafty spinner manipulation and some warping around, I've actually managed to get it to where the spinner takes me to the right after going south from the mini-boss room, which lets us enter the room where we find our way. It's the room to get to the room that gets to the mini bot to the boss key, or whatever. Wow, I did that wrong. There we go. Should be a pretty obvious puzzle there. It's boss key time! Alright, time for some more backtracking! Okay, so... This room... has more of the seed-launching gimmick to it. Uh, I hit a switch over there to the right, if you're wondering what happened. The switch spins the little deflector in the center of the room, which allows you to ricochet your seeds off and hit the switch. Nifty, right? Ooh, 20 rupees. Bill's actually getting to be pretty rich! But he was also a miser and wouldn't help the sick children. Bastards. I can't believe you made me do that. <sighs> I wonder what that kid's gonna need next. Probably a feeding tube. You fuckers probably wouldn't give it to him anyway. That's enough banter! It's time for a boss! What kind of gimmick does the boss have? Perhaps something to do with the seed shooter. This is Zelda, after all. Okay, the boss of this dungeon is the Shadow Hag. She will split up into four little shadows to chase you around. Don't let them touch you, they hurt you. Shoots out some butterflies for whatever reason and then appears behind you. Use the seed shooter's ricocheting effect to have it bounce off the wall and hit her while she's behind you. I'm switching my ammo to the scent seeds because I need more. I'm gonna run out of those ember seeds. If you run out of seeds, that's what the butterflies are for. They can replenish that shit for you. This boss should give you no trouble whatsoever. It's actually pretty easy. And that's all there is to it. Fucking hag. Yes. Alright, time for an essence of time! It's a necklace. Or an echoing howl, whatever. I don't get it. It looks like a bunch of rabbit's feet on a necklace. That's what it shall be to me. Ooh, some shit's going down. Okay, I guess they're getting closer to finishing that tower. But wait a minute, isn't this happening in the past? It should already have hap- oh, God. whatever. Time to talk to a tree! Why, yes we do! Thanks! The, it's nearing completion in the past, but it's the- oh. I don't even want to begin. Alright, that's going to be it for now. Time to go. I'll see you guys next time. Bill's getting the fuck out of here.